All right, so All right. winners, finals, Kameme versus Sue, and we got not the Mega Man, but the Wario. So shout outs, man. Uh, Carolina hooking it up. Yo, shout out Stanley for the water. Yeah. All right. But both these characters kind of having like now, their own little X factor, right? Yeah. Now, so in, in s the, just the dynamic of this, if you think about it, is, you know, Wario doesn't really, you know, if he camps hard for walk, he doesn't really, you know, how often does he really need to get to a sort of high percent? Right. Wario also strong at edge guarding, strong at keeping Lucario off the stage. You know, I, I would favor to say that, that this matchup is super dependent on who gets that first stop. Right. Who right. has the ability to camp from that point on? Yeah, so I don't I, think either of them can approach each other very well. Right, exactly. And I mean, you, you play Wario, so how, how do you feel like just, do you, who, who do you think like kind of has the edge in this matchup? Um, I, I, on, in general, I would say uh, if if Wario plays super campy, right. it's it's a, almost a free matchup. And, and, okay. and, but that, a lot of that comes from, I haven't played many of the Wario's in Ultimate, but in Smash 4, and I think very little has changed about this matchup other than Wario just being better. And Lucario obviously having some more tools. You know, I think if Wario plays super lame, he has so many abilities to just keep you to low percent. You'll never kill him. He'll just get waft. Yeah, one thing that uh, Japanese players usually don't fall short of, it's patience. So um, we will see. And I, I, I know Kamehameha will do whatever it takes to get that W. So right now, man, Sue kind of slapping him up right now. And he did all this damage with no aura Lucario. So like he had yeah. to win neutral like hell. But, but look at the timer. Yeah, right. It's it's about that time. This is death percent. Yeah, and I mean we could see Kameme very well. Kame uh, look, we already just, see him. he's just fishing because he knows. <laughs> he knows. That's all you have to do in this matchup. You wait for the waft. You wait for that waft, Dang. and you just do nothing. He, he's not gonna kill you at zero. You get him to forty. You leave him there. Yeah. What's wow. the point? But the counter coming out from Sue gonna even that right back up. But yeah, I mean very very good point there. And I mean it's funny in a sense where uh, Wario kind of used Lucario's strategy against him. Like, pretty much he was just like, oh, you rack up damage on me, and then I'm going to walk him for you. I'm killing you at 50, yeah. actually. So definitely uh, uh, giving uh, Lucario a little bit of a taste of his own medicine, if you know what oh, I'm saying. Oh, yeah. There's an air. Trying to go for a lot of these active hitboxes can be very, very effective when ledge trapping your opponent. All right. OK, tech chase. Oh, so close to getting oh. that falling up air. Yeah. I don't think he has half walk yet, so I'm not sure he was just going to come over to each other up here and get some damage. Yeah, we definitely saw the walk burned at like 620-ish or so. Yeah, so he should be getting half walk very soon, maybe just 10 seconds or so, which will kill Lucario this percent, unless it's, you know, crop, you know it's coast to coast, yeah, maybe. Does, does he even need it? He might be able to save the walk for the next stock. Okay. The bite, you know, that, that's another thing, is Lucario getting back to stage against Wario, it's, 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 a, it's a task. Yeah. You know, you have your down air, you have the back air, you have the bike. You know, you have all kinds of tools that you can use. And, we're, and Wario is not a character that lacks for lacks for quick options to kill you if you mess up. Like, right there. Yeah, yeah. You know? He has very solid confirms. Like, Fortos is a very standalone great move. Same with back air. You have a down tilt and a dash attack, or just dash attack. Forward tilt, too, is so good. Ooh, catches oh him! Oh, my. Sue. Probably. I, I've seen him use the Aura Sphere today in such an ama such amazing ways against in all, in all these matchups he's just so good at catching people with it i remember he like anti aired anti fatality with it yeah you know, he's just crazy good at using it yeah he's, he's so and the thing is the more aura the bigger the aura sphere so it just takes up more area on the map and it's stronger and it deals more damage it's just ha half off his life oh our full off is live sorry oh full off full so, off is so on he's gonna want to secure this kill back air down to dash attack all right, well, yeah. you got it, man. I mean, and now, now, the you know, profit. Now he needs, you know, he can get him. Even he can lose as like 20, 30 percent of the ledge with the nair. Yeah, you know, there's so many. But ways he has to, to be at the up. edge. Yeah, yeah, at the edge. But uh, you know, up air, mid stage, you know, 40s, 50s. Like, it is a super dangerous situation to be in because this is the true. You know, as the if the plan of the whole game was, you know, I just get waft. This is when it really comes into play. When you really, you just wait for the right opportunities. Yeah, exactly. And I mean. You, you, at this point, you, you you play patient to get the waft, so now you got to wait patiently to find your waft opening. Up throw, up air, yep. great oh. damage. Now he's in now he's up, mm. tilt, up tilt and up air will both combo into waft. You are in prime waft percent, my man, Sue. You got to watch out. Kameme wants it. Ooh, so good. See, you know, he and he was just waiting for it. He was like, he's at 40%. He's never going to do anything. I'll just wait for waft. Yeah, and there's so many ways to go into it. Oh, so, yeah, this game. The second hit into um, of the Nair went right into that waft. And, man, you that's just such a key way to defeating Lucario's aura strategy. 
get these stocks at 50%, you ain't even going to hit the triple digi digits. You're not killing me with back air 50. Like, I'm sorry, Lucario. That's just the, that, I know that's the name of your game, and I have the tools to kill you at 50%. Yeah. He's, he's evasive in the air. I know, like, you know, um, in, on, like, Battlefield, you can just circle camp Lucario. In this game, I think he's more apt to catch you than he, than he was before. But, you know, it's just, it's, I, I feel like because of that, you know, when it comes to, especially in the last stock situation, where he has yeah. a big advantage in this matchup. Man, it, it's just crazy that we're still seeing um, Wario being pretty relevant in the meta. You know, we, we've, uh, I feel like a lot of people were like, Wario's overrated in the beginning, and then like, we kind of like only saw really Tweet do it. I mean, we saw Gluttony as well, but it's just, it's hard because we don't see Gluttony travel too much. Yeah. And it, it's just cool to see that now we see Tweet going in a more permanent position with Wario. We still see Gluttony doing it big in Europe. And then like, now we see like, Kameme bringing out oh, the yeah. Wario more and more. So like, it, it's a very great spread of like, U.S., Europe, and Japan talent with yeah. a, um, doing a big with Wario. I think, I think Wario has a very unique play style. I think it's more as the meta progresses, there will... Ooh, oh, the shield break! Where is your no. shield, sir? I am going to have to ex ask you to exit stage right. That's going to be your first stock commandment, and now I have the lead, and I got the aura. Oh, oh. All right, Half Waft is now live. Uh, I, th I don't think he'll use it on this stock, although, you know, if, he, if an opposition rise, it's a stock. Might as well take it. Right, right. I mean, waft out of shield is a thing, or parrying, or, like, you know, wa yeah. parry into waft as well. But you usually want to usually wanna save it for those, you know, setup situations. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I would think he's probably going to save it for the second stock. He's just trying to secure this one with a back air, you know, yeah. something like that. And then now, now, you know, with 30 seconds, that's danger zone. You die, you die at 40 at that point. Yep, and that's, that's the one thing that'll always keep Wario in the game, you know what I mean? As long as the stocks are even, it always depends on when, if the waft is up or not. But even just using that to condition your opponent to be like, oh, you're going to fear these certain moves. Now I can get, like, X because you're avoiding X, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and you see, like, right here, like, he's standing cross stage from Lucario because Lucario, you know, was like, oh, you're going to charge our sphere and shoot it at me, but, you know, I'm, I'm getting more pressure. Even though I'm technically behind, I am exerting more pressure on, than you are. Yep, exactly. And Sue is definitely, I mean, one more hit. We're going to definitely Ooh, see a this waft is confirm. Dangerous. This is getting dangerous. Yeah, because the full waft is online. More so. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's very hard to kill as Lucario, I feel like, without, without that aura. So, you know. Oh! Wow. Oh, I mean. Jump into it. You know, hard read. Yeah, and I mean, Sue just kind of stood there. So, I, I feel like maybe Kamehameha thought, like, a, a quick burst option was coming in. So, he wanted to do it a little early. But that's All a right. huge resource down for Kamehameha. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, this is you now. As soon as he uses the waft, he you know, goes back to a different, completely style. Because now he's like, oh, I have to kill him. Right, right. You know, I, I can't just I can't just play the, the safer game. Ooh! Slow-mo! Oh, yes. And the, the, the nice cinematic slow-mo kill. You guys already know, man. Ultimate bringing so much hype and, uh, you know, already that uh, the eye candy and all that stuff. But even, like, that on top of the aura, on top of him being at 120, you're, like, uber dead right there. Like, oh, yeah. there's no coming back from that. Now, obviously, Kamehameha is behind and in kind of a rough situation right now. And he wafted just, like, maybe, oh, like, 30 yeah. seconds ago. He's in a horrible spot. But if he can get this stock, he can just wait. Exactly. You're because, right. Because he's not going to die. Because time is always just that resource that will always be on Wario's side. You know, even if he doesn't have a lead, it's like, oh, you're capping me out and you have the lead? Sick. I'm just going to get off. You know what I mean? Like, it almost it doesn't really force your opponent. Ooh, catching that roll with the slap, slap, slap. Oh, yes. Yeah, slapping him up. But, yeah, it doesn't really force your opponent to approach, but, like, it kind of gives them, like, some kind of incentive. All right. Yeah. Know? See, right here, you know. It's going to be a while before Lucario is going to be able to kill him if he's with no aura. Right, but the walk is yeah. almost online here for Kamehameha. Yeah. So pretty much one oh, combo, a couple bit, strings. Percent, and this is danger zone for, for uh, Sue here. Yeah, one more neutral exchange. You just need to attack on maybe another 10%. Oh, that was super dangerous. See, even oh, without man. the aura, though, the bike, the bike will kill you, right? Ooh! Wow. Oh, you don't. See, he isn't even going to kill. See, yeah. This is why Warriors, I feel like, is so proficient in this matchup. Because... You're not going to die. And You're he, right. He's at death percent. You are. Oh, the oh. counter. Dang, still counter, still not killing. Yeah. Oh, and the up smash. Oh, okay. Finally getting with the up smash. I know that's a lot harder to um, confirm in this game. Yeah. But um, I think if the since the aura was a little bit smaller, it was not as bad. Or it was a little easier to confirm because he didn't, like, fall out of it kind of thing. It was really yeah. close to him. So Sue bringing the classic confirm, the neutral B charge into the shield cancel up smash. So, so good, and man, he was able to finally close it out. Something that it can be a little hard for Lucario to do at those lower percents. Oh, when, yeah. he has, when he has that lower percent. Yeah, uh, you know, the the neutral beach, the Archer charge setups, 
I've seen Sue hit so many different ones today. I saw him into up air, down air, into down air side B, into, into up smash. Like it, it's crazy the amount that he, the the amount of setups he can get with just that move. Oh yeah, it's it's absolutely insane. But here we are, game number three. We got one apiece. Of course, both these players going back and forth, and it looks like we're sticking with the same matchup here. Yeah, I mean, I you know both of them. Even though that last game, technically, it did, didn't look quite even with percents, right. it was even. You know, that, yeah. that was an even game. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because, I mean, the waft was almost online or pretty much online there. And we've seen the waft that was coming out from Kamehameha. It's, it's so strong. Okay, pretty much going uh, tick for tack here. So you're getting a little bit of aura. I, I, I love these safe forward airs coming out from Kamehameha. Just kind of poking forward, yeah. drifting back. Really, really safe. He's, he's biding his time. He's like, yeah, I don't have to, you know, force the situation. I yep. don't have to get in. I don't have to get these combos. Ooh. Man, that is yeah, so He's thinking so much with that bounce, you know. He, 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 he bounce and then, like, buffer spot dodge. Nobody's ready for it. Oh, the bike can... Ah, didn't get him. Yes, um, that move does hit below the ledge, so you can do a really good job of, like, two-framing certain recoveries. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the best thing is that is if you don't get the last hit, it just spikes them. It's nice. Them straight down. Oh, so, it's like a multi-hit. Yeah. So yeah. so you can get the connecting hitboxes whenever you do it down on the ledge like that and just instantly just kill people. Nice. That's now, Lucario, because he can has a huge amount of range on, on that, <laughs> you know, he, he doesn't, he obviously isn't susceptible to that. But a lot of characters like Falcon, you know. They, or like they, Fire Emblem characters or yeah, whatever. Like, yeah, they, 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 they get, they get clipped by it and that's it for them. Yeah. Okay, very even in terms of Ooh, percentage. catches out the bike. Yes. Sue with the up air, very bold read, just gonna get him off that bike and ooh, into ooh, the grab. The grab. Wow. Fifty percent the charge. See, yeah, the jumping charge. That's wow. That's so cool. Oh yeah, and th that's something that I love that they added ooh. to the game. You can jump and cancel any charge like move. It's it's so wow. cool. Sue doing so well right now. Surviving that back air was so huge. Oh, I'm missing that. Now Kameme has to either just burn the waft or he, he's going to have to just find some other kill move. Ooh, oh, back air. Another back air, though. And here's the thing. Waft is live. Yep, waft is live here. See if he can get some damage. And Lucario, oh, once again. Oh, catches the bike, but it doesn't matter. He's just matter. at so low percent. It's hard for him to nail the stock. And this is going to be, like, what, 40, 50, 58. Oh, I don't think, I think the waft wouldn't have killed. He wants this falling up air. Of course, Kameme is going to be fishing for this waft. Confirm a lot of nares. Oh. Ooh, the parry waft. Sick! And you think it's just crazy because you're like, don't get hit by Nair. Don't get hit by up tilt. But Kameme also has the parries on deck as well. So once yeah. you think you can go on the offense, he has the parry into the waft and you're dead at center stage. The F smash is catching the Nair in. Sue, I feel like I've been seeing so many F smash today on just on so many people for... Okay. Kameme playing a little fast. You know, you know most of the time he gets slowed down. Okay, so there he goes. Slowing it down. Kind of going to his corner. Getting some damage. He's not going to have Waft for a little bit, so like, you know. Uh-huh. And I, I feel like Sue, one thing that's been so clutch for him is his ability to get stocks off Kameme when he has low aura. Yeah. That is the one thing that's really keeping him in these yeah. games. And Kameme, Kameme, oh, catches him back here in the recovery. That was so smart by Kameme. Yeah, such a great call out. And we see, like, I like that Kameme is hitting the source of the problem because a lot of people are getting tripped up from like the high up B into the ground bounce buffer spot dodge. Kamehameha's like, how about I don't even mess with that mix up Yeah, and I'll just hit you while you're up B. Yeah, he just ran up there and was like, you know, I have time, I'm just gonna go back air him. Yeah, yeah. Very, very smart from Kamehameha. Gonna reward him the lead 2-1 over Sue here in this winner's final set. Of course, we're in the 2GG Grand Tour. We're here at South Carolina giving you guys a display of this uh, the Japanese talent, of course, with all the southern talent that comes with it. We're in top eight, of course, winners finals. Oh, yeah. Cool. You know, this is a, you know, it's 2-1 it's, 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 it's Kamehameha, but it doesn't feel that way. It feels very like like it's just, it's even constantly. Right. Yeah, and I mean, it's, uh, they are sticking it out with this matchup. We're not getting any change or anything like that, so just, I wonder why we're not seeing the Mega Man. I mean, they've probably played so much before, it's kind of like fleshed out, like, all right, we just like this matchup playing each other, so. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, both these characters, I think both, both these players love these characters. Okay, just okay. back. I, I like that from Kamehameha. You saw, the, like, the, the slight stutter step to kind of, like, force oh, yeah. an option. Because when some people are on the ledge, they see any kind of movement, and they think it could be a hitbox, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Okay, I love Kimmy how he slows it down whenever he has leak. Because he knows I can just wait for this waft. Yeah. You know? And the air movement from both these characters are so strong, so it's really interesting to see how both of them abuse it against each other. And, like, we yeah. get so many different types of spacing in the air against both these yeah, characters. Yeah, and of course, of course Warriors has the, the air mobility where he's just like, you hold it. But Sue, you know, pops him so good at the aerial movement, the mix ups, the B reverses, everything. Yeah, the B reverse, since, since Lucario's incredible air mobility, the, the, the actual distance you get off of B reverse is insane. All right. So we, we have half off live right oh. now. Oh, oh, man. If he was ready to pull the trigger, though. Yeah. I yeah, mean, 30 that's, seconds that's, still full off. We'll see if he waits. That's one of the hard things, though. I feel like it's hard to react to, like, no tech and and honestly trying to react to a roll, too, because you're just looking for the roll kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. All right. Half off is online as well, so both these players in clear kill percent here. We'll see what the setup is. Ooh, that was so... Yo, Sue just throwing out the options. I like the dash tag. He knows he needs, he needs to secure... Oh, yeah. that was so close. Oh, both of them. Ooh, super scary. Oh, ooh, I feel like it was suspect DI. Yeah, but. Yeah. Oh, the charge. Not dying. Oh, oh, that horse here is getting so big. I love how Sue at the ledge, too. He used ledge Dash jump. Dash attack, not quite taking it. Uh huh. I like how he used ledge jump there to like put himself on the ground. You usually can't ledge jump and put yourself on the ground like that, but Lucario has a very unique down air where he can do that. Dash attack, though, almost taking an incredible DI come out from Sue, going straight for that corner. Oh, reacting. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows, he kn you know, and you know, we watched the Salt one set, you know, he just fell, he fell that, I think, you know, four or five times in the set. It was, it's, 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 you know, honestly not that great of an option, but, you know, if you know they're going to normal get up, if you feel like that's the option they're going to pick, it's, you know, it'll kill. Yeah. And I love the shield pressure when Komami came in. It was like, he just kept down tilting his shield and then, like, kind of drifted out and then came back in with the, uh, the back air. The moment Sue felt safe to get out of shield, and that's when he got smacked up. Now we're on the second stock here, game number four. All right. You know, he has that waft live right now. He's probably looking oh. probably looking for something. One more confirm. I mean, he doesn't have too much rage, though. So does he have to get him to about 60 for the confirm to kill? Uh, no. Center I mean, stage? It, it, center stage, yeah, I mean, it's safe for 60. I'm not sure particularly on the numbers for Lucario. That'll kill, yeah. Wait, no. Oh. Wow. I feel like a buffoon. <laughs> Well, All see, right. I mean, that's why I asked. <laughs> I mean, that was like not center stage, well, it was a little cross I thought he was going to go left. Left, yeah, yeah. yeah. If he went left, he was super dead. But he went to the right there. Um, I'm not too sure if, like, uh, Sue kind of altered his DI on the setup hit. But uh, really great he stuff might regardless. Have, yeah, if he had amazing micromanagement, you know. Yes. Crazy. And, and I, wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. You know, Sue's an amazing player. Yeah. Oh, spot dodging that F smash. That's that ballsy. Very, very brave. But the back air will seal it out. Kamehameha burning the waft was looking pretty scary, but he just played super solid that tail end and just sealed it out. All right. Man, but honestly, he takes all those hits, but it's not even that much damage. He only stays on the aura. And here comes the strings. Base oh. oh, my lord. That would have been so much damage if he hit that falling up air. Oh, the, the aura sphere charges up. Oh, Kamehameha really wants to close out this game. Yeah, if he can close it out 3-1, that's going to be big. The side B will Whoa. deal out the damage it needs. To, we didn't get the... It's kind of, it felt kind of off guard because uh, yeah. we didn't get the like zoom in or whatever. Yeah. But but yeah, that move is so, so strong. I think the zoom in is based on... on either How much aura he has, maybe? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because I know I'm Incineroar, like, if he like revenges like Hela, then... like It he, might be damage based overall. Right, could be that too. Okay, Sue racking up the damage. Man, honestly, bringing this right back. All right. Ooh, that F smash. Not what, he's getting, alive? Not to, yeah, he doesn't have what? much aura, you know? Oh, he's the wall? <laughs> wow. Taking it. That was, he just ran up and did it. You honestly Amazing. don't see Kameme do that too often. Dude, Man, he's, so, he, he's so good with it. Sue looking pretty you know, devastated after that uh, loss. I kind of would be too. I, I feel like he definitely had it after he missed the tech, got the forward smash. Like it's Lucario, he didn't have an absurd amount of rage, but he had a decent amount of aura. But like, yeah, wow. I mean, I, you know, and you don't, he, you see him run up.